on the counter-attack. Steve Johnson. He was the difference early. Three first quarter goals. Mooney. Almost impossible, I would think, from out there. The late afternoon breezes starting to swirl around. He's kicking for goal this year unreliable. 7 12, the stat from 49. Is there nothing he can't do? Well, I'm not sure that there is. It's another one to the cat. He's just a remarkable player. Listen to that. Proud of cheering Gary Ablett as he comes from the field. Third goal for the quarter. Three final quarter goals to Gary Ablett. You've got to wonder whether in the history of the propagation of the human race, one genius has ever begotten another, as Gary Ablett Sr. has his son. Blake, right, down to Kelly again. Jitter dominating out of the centre in this final term. Selwood, now Wojcinski, he's away. Pursued by Goods, but got the kick off. Wasn't a great one. Deep into the pocket, going back Barry, turns onto his left side, meantime there's a free kick against Mooney I think, and it'll come back to Richards in the back pocket. Now I know Wolsey you're so intrigued by the super coach points, I've got to update you, <laughs> Channel 10 rankings, Gary Abbott has now got the official world record, up to 251, gone past Nathan Buckley, so the greatest uh, ranking game ever played. Smith, three bounces, over the top McVeigh, oh gee, not great. Not an effective disposal, lucky enough to be penalised. And the Cats tied up between centre and centre half back. Well, they're 30 points up Geelong. They're going to win the game. But I tell you what, Sydney have been gallant. They have been fantastic. They give their supporters value for money week in, week out. They've done it again. Blake, favoured by the bounce. Taken by Jude Bolton. Slips the handball. Kirk. Awkward looking kick towards full foot at the back, Davis. Now, what? Uh, free kick, and it'll come to Long's Marley. way, I think, Difference against Davis. I think Sydney would be happy with Nick Davis' efforts today. We know that they spoke pretty openly about his tackling and his chasing. He's contested really well today. Got himself back in the spot. Play on, play on. Selwood giving to Mackey. Goes into the corridor for Rook. Favoured by uh, the bounce. Richards backing back, Stokes are over the top, and Mooney runs home another. And the Cats are running right in the last. It's a mighty victory by Geelong. They have been seriously challenged today, admittedly by a team without key players at either end of the ground. But is this the statement that uh, they are just about invincible? They've got that aura about them, Tim, no doubt about that. It reminds me of Brisbane in their triple premiership years. I think they are the most unselfish side that I've ever seen play. There was no reason to give that off to Cam Mooney from Stokes, and it's almost as though he knows Cam Mooney's had a quiet day. Yeah. I need to give you one, mate. You're that important to our side. They do it regularly, and they are just a brutal side as well. They've got that ability. I think they might go undefeated for the whole year. 36 points. Swan's got it to within three after Jared Moore kicked the first goal of the quarter at the second minute mark. Blake, not better as the game has gone on Ablett. This time the handball chopped off. Gee, they're doing well out of the centre. Corey Ling. Bartel. Kick forward. Mooney again in position. He's had a good final turn. Chips it further afield, looking to give Stokes one back, and Stokes marks it. Well, you know what was going through Mooney's mind, don't you? The little bloke set me up. I've had a pretty quiet day. He gave me a gift goal. If I can give him one back, I'll do it. And that's a great spirit to have in your team. Gee, he's been good, Stokes. He yeah. can, he's a good mark for a little man. So, Matthew Stokes, and as he kicks Rob, can you answer, will they go undefeated? Stokes comes in and goals! Uh, they will get beaten at some stage. Matthew Stokes kicks his...
Ortiz fall. And the margin all of a sudden blows out the 42. Well, looks at who's going to beat them. St Kilda will beat them when St Kilda gets their game going. I know you think I'm an idiot. But... <laughs> That's all right. Glad he said. <laughs> You've got to let go of that, Walsey. Uh, you can't, look, I saw Geelong. You mentioned it, Tim. I think they've won 24 of their last 25. Now, they'll win this one. The one they got beaten was Port Adelaide down here late last year, and we were here for that game, and uh, that did them good, I thought. They lost by five points, I think. Selwood having a terrific last quarter for the Cats, but he's got a few mates, Bartell, and this man here is the one who really started it all. He created havoc for Sydney, Corey Tamuni. The ball's come down with such regularity that uh, in the end Mooney had to get a few touches. But I do love the unselfish nature of his play. Ablett in the midfield, Selwood in the midfield, Bartlett and Corey have made the big difference. They've kicked eight in the last quarter when it had to be one. And they've kicked a few behinds as well. Gee, at one stage, didn't you say they'd kicked something like 112? It was headed in that direction. Chance now for Johnson. And going nowhere there, so a bounce. He didn't have possession of it, the other guy had hands on it. Thanks, Tim. In fact, it was big. Mooney there, not Steve Johnson. So a bounce on attacking 50 here for the Cats. It's been a wonderful final quarter, final quarter ever. Oh, Jolly. Still nine. Stokes. Prismal. Stokes again, feeds it back to Enright, who chips it to the top of the goal square. Craig Bolton should mark and does. And a comfortable mark in the end, Adler pushed out of the way. And Bolton goes for O'Keefe, who just uh, seemed to lose it and missed it. And Milburn's happy to find the line. O'Keefe, I think understandably asked, was that not deliberate? The umpires have had enough contention for the day. Is there time for one last whoop of triumph for the Cat fans? Bartell to Corey, to Johnson, but Adam Goods, as he has done many times today, takes the ball away in spectacular fashion. Mooney giving a terrific chase. Oh, like two giant athletes, they go shoulder to shoulder. Mooney getting the better of it, but Barlow was there to help Goods out. Kick just a bit strong, though, for Nick Davis. Oh, Lachlan pushed. Scarlett not happy. Sydney's ball. First mistake Scarlett's made all year. What a moment that was. The siren's gone. Time, perhaps, for one last Sydney score, but it's a Geelong victory. A magnificent victory achieved in the face of a genuine challenge. The margin currently standing at 43 points. Michael O'Loughlin held goalless today, in fact scoreless by Matthew Scarlett. Scores are behind after the siren. Sick Geelong's winning margin is 42 points. It is an emphatic and memorable victory.